I feel like I should rename this channel to Pleasure Beach something. Like, it's the only place we visit nowadays, but to hopefully we get elsewhere in the coming weeks. But it's late night riding at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's the 4th of June. I am very excited for today. The weather is beautiful. We've just come off Revolution, which Ed in particular really enjoyed. Some funny noise is coming from in there. And yeah, we're with this group of people. Ed, Emily, Danielle and Ben. That's our squad for today. Big Dipper is absolutely walk on to start the day on a two train service. So what do we do? We come on Big Dipper before our icon. Very good last minute decision in my opinion. I'm winning as well because I'm the second group and we're the second group in this queue. The first group probably gonna go to the front. I'm gonna go to the best seat on the train. Well, I should have got Ben's reaction on camera then, but it was a good morning ride. Right, that was, I was screaming my head off. Daniel <laughs> was trying to talk to me. Oh my god, it was running like it was the end of the day. What's that gonna be running like at nine o'clock? Oh, I'm looking forward it's to close it. At nine Sorry guys, I'm yeah. very excited. I know. I think, I think I could do it. I think I could yeah. hear Amelie screaming actually when I was going Did on. you? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I swear Amelie wasn't screaming, was she? No. It sounded yeah. like that. What? Yeah. Like I could hear Ray and Josh were just yelling at each other. Yeah. It might have been that then. Well, yeah, like Ben said, and he was on the train before us. It was a very good morning ride back. I'm looking forward to a few more goes on this later on. We're all on Pleasure Beach Express. We enjoyed Burger King before we did Icon on an amazing back row ride on Big Dipper. Very good last minute decision to go on there before Icon. Uh, yeah, big ones there. Yeah, we're having a cracking day so far. We all love Nickelodeon Street, but we do have something that we think could improve operations and especially with the easy pass. I think I've always been a fan of merge points over just, you know, being dumped on a row or something or just a free for all for the rat passes before the main queue. Um, because yeah, like when it's a merge point, everyone gets the choice of seats and you know, like most people's first intention with the wrap will be to take front row, but the people in the main queue will also want to do front row, so you feel bad doing that. And yeah, I feel like a merge point is doable on Nickelodeon Street. It's one of the only rides that doesn't have a merge point now. Big one used to not, and they started to have a merge point, and that made a huge difference and uh, for the better with operations and that. The same can happen on here. There's no way of doing it on Infusion, I don't think, unfortunately. But yeah, here we go. This is what I think should happen to Nickelodeon Street. I took some shots while we're up there. This is the rap queue, but it's also the exit. The exit is on your left-hand side here. The rap queue Wait. is where people are waiting there, on the right. And yeah, we do think that, obviously, yeah, you just get let on um, to go on whatever row you want to uh, from the rap queue there. And yeah, sometimes they'll let the main queue on at the same time, so you're all kind of running up, walking up to one another, which, you know, you can get in each other's way. But yeah, a, re a merge point is so doable. Like, look, it just makes sense to start the merge point here, the rap queue here, and then you scan your, not not scan your, get your paper done here, and then, yeah, you literally just go through to join the main queue there where the wristband scanner is. Um, and then obviously you'd exit on this side down here. I just think that would make a huge difference. And yeah, I'll put the shots that I took over there now. It just made more sense, for, like say, it's literally in a straight line. Um, but the exit isn't in a straight line, but that that's not what I'm on about. It's just, a merge point would be better. You know, you go up here, you merge with a main queue, Everyone gets a choice to see and it speeds up operations because you're only um, loading the train from one entrance instead of having two sides clashing uh, in the middle of the train. Run out of memory on my card then, but yeah, you're only getting on from one side instead of everyone clashing. And yeah, it just worked. Have the exit down here. I just think that would be a good improvement to make. We all agree, don't we? Yeah. Uh, uh, it just doesn't look as good as well if it's like yeah. going straight into the station. It'd look better if you join uh, yeah. I mean, with the main QR code. And the easiest seat to go on from the, from there is the front, but you don't want to take the front row because everybody Everyone from the general the public fat. like that. Yeah, yeah. You know. To put it lightly. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know. And same with a big one, really. It, it was never nice when you had your seat taken, or it was never nice when you took someone's seat when they're waiting at the air gate. So the big one's merge point made a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, they did do a side seating as well for the wrap. So yeah, um, a merge point made a massive Im would make a massive improvement. And yeah, well, I mean, it saved the operator opening the gate for the wrap queue as well. 
Um, because yeah, well, obviously they'd have to let you through the, the, the merge point, but you do that when the train's going round track. But yeah, that was a longer segment to this suggestion than might need it to be, but yeah, the merge point, it, it, it would work. I, I, I love merge points, better than just being put on a row, yeah. Cowards could do with them as well if you want to. Well, yeah, some of them, well, some of them do have merge points. Nemesis. Smiler, I'm yeah. Yeah, it's doable, but we'll see. We'll see, yeah. There we go. Know what ride we're going to do next. He wants to go on Rugrats. She wants me to go on Rugrats. So I think everyone apart from... I think we should come on it with his bed. I don't think four people fit in a boat. That's the thing. Doing Rugrats, because why not? <laughs> why not? I could capture their ride on Rugrats instead. But you know what? Yeah. Do it for the laughs. It's not too cold today. It's not boiling hot either, to be honest. But let's go on Rugrats. And Ben's going to stay here. One day we'll get him on it, on a... No, I need to film it, though. Very hot day. That's so do I, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I need to film, guys. You don't need coats on, says Ed. Uh, that was a lot of fun. You deserve that. Look at the state here. To be perfectly honest, I'm not too bad. My feet are a bit wet, which I'm not happy about. Like, it's always the feet that you don't really want to be... Yeah. It... I know, yeah. Emily deserves that. Ed's not too bad. Ben, you're soaked. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ben filmed us, so check out his vlog. And yeah, uh, Daniel's not that. Right. Top right. <laughs> and yeah. I did manage to get you on camera. I, I was you really did. Good. I had to film for so long. I just didn't know what boat it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> I think we shouted you my teeth. Yeah, I did hear you shouting, but I'm yeah. not recording. They've me feet and my shoes. I heard Amelie anyway. Wet. <laughs> 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 How couldn't you? There was a water effect on there and all that gives a little sprinkling before the drop. This hasn't featured in a vlog in a while, but hello Brick. How you doing? I wonder if there's any regular viewers on channel now that watch every clip and like, I wonder if the next clip he'll go in the uh, he'll go in the shop. When's he gonna go in the shop? I wonder what minute of the video he's gonna go in the shop. Well here we are. It wouldn't be a trip to Blackpool Pleasure Beach without a look in the right authentic ride park section of the Kiss Trip shop. And there has been some new stuff since my last vlog, which was after, around about a month ago now. After all those getting ran over by one. Big one brake liners. These are new. We'll like, are I don't actually know. Are these on the, um, are these on, actually on the train? Or is it the brake things that are on the track? That, yeah, I don't know. I think it's off the, <laughs> I think it's off the, um, it's distracting me, guys. I assume these are actually on the trains. I think they are. I think they're, <laughs> £40, I think. I'm not sure. They're not priced here, but I remember seeing them on the shop and they and might be 40 Ah, oh, look what we have here. We have an avalanche chain. Free links on that as well. That'll probably be expensive for free links. Oh my god, I just dropped my camera. <laughs> Caught it by the little strap thing. And don't and forget to subscribe to Thrill. And for more things Thrill related, don't forget to subscribe to Thrill Next. Not the end of the video yet, by the way. That's, I just thought I'd drop that in there. That's two yeah. takes anyway, he spent on begging for subs, guys. To... Yeah, I bet that ain't cheap, but I also bet that they don't have a price on here. Let's have a look. £80? Oh, you know what? That's not bad. Might consider that. £80 for free chain links. That's a from decent Avalanche. value. Yeah, if, I don't know. If that, was, if that was from the big one, or one of the woodies, I'd consider it. But I don't know, because it's Avalanche. It's not a coast that I do every time I come here. Um, yeah, gosh, you can tell. That's been used. Look at that. It's um, PMBO, Ride Parts. I think that's off the big one. Imagine if that is more expensive or the same price than this. I mean, I know the link's bigger. But yeah, three links, one link, same price or more. Um, yeah, oh, this has been sold. These are so, um, these are on the online shop. So yeah, they've obviously sold it. Take it out then, I don't know, it's just left display, I think. I think it's a really old one of them where you put a coin in and it moves. But yeah, loads of Valhalla shields. Absolutely loads. Of, that must be all they have now. Because yeah, they've been selling these a while and there's a lot out here. But that maybe is a big one chain link, I think. Like it looks like it, which I might consider buying if I knew that it was definitely a big one chain link and I knew the price. So yeah, there we go. Obviously got one of these social distancing markers the other week. Um, yeah, they're all gone now, the police stand behind the yellow line ones. I think I got one of the last ones. You did. Um, so yeah, there we go, they were nice and popular, £3 each. I assume these are the same again. And yeah, and this is where I complained. Last week, um, yeah, I was talking to 
Um, I was just in here on my own, weren't plugging around. It might have been the day I filmed the Valhalla update. Uh, I think it was actually. Came in here and yeah, got talking to one of the staff members and they said that this right here is Big Dipper Wood. This right here is Big Dipper Wood. And this right here is Big Dipper Wood. Where on earth is the Grand National Wood, man? Like, did you even replace any wood over the winter? I know you did. <laughs> I want a piece of Grand National Wood. It's the only wood in Coaster at Pleasure Beach that I don't have a piece of wood from. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, one day, eh? Maybe. One day. But yeah, there's some cool parts in here at the minute. Like these bike things, one of which has been sold. You can get them on the online shop. They're £150, I think. Um, oh, that. I, I, I'm not sure, actually. Um, yeah. Infusion stuff, big pieces a big one, small pieces a big one, brake liners, shields, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, wood, real ride wood. Skeptic over there. Um, yeah, none of it's from Grand National, unfortunately, yet. So, there we are. But I absolutely love the authentic ride part section of the Kiss Me Quick shop. Let's go on a ride. We're all looking at sunglasses. <laughs> they are. I hope. Let's try one on. Oh, uh, hey, Josh, go on. Flip the screen up. Like Let's see how cool I look. <laughs> I can't get on. Can't get on. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> what wonderful. We all need like a selfie with sunglasses. Should we do that? Yo, what we're saying? We're trying on sunglasses. <laughs> We're having a great time. Guess what guys, we are not the only people who like to look at the ride parts. How did we find out? Well, when we were messing around with them sunglasses earlier, um, we saw um, fellow ride park geeks and fellow YouTubers, Wild Willows, Michelle and Lucas, and yeah, we had... So <laughs> I just tripped Tamily up. Yeah. They were lovely, they were lovely, it was lovely to see them. Wild Willows, check the YouTube channel out. And yeah, mother and son, go all over the place and capture it for YouTube. And yeah, the channel is very good and very successful. And yeah, it was lovely to meet them. And obviously, speak to them, yeah. And yeah, obviously, it's good to know that we're not the only people who love the ride parts and, and all that stuff, but yeah. Lovely to meet Luke and Michelle. Wasn't it then? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I need to get that. You need to get Yeah. But yeah, there we go. Check out the Wild Willows if you haven't already. You can get a Wallace and Gromit coaster on a coaster for three ninety-five. On the topic of um, people we've seen today, um, yeah, Wild Willows. They've said they've been, they they recognised us as well. Um, they watched the videos. Saw someone earlier, I don't think I shouted them out last time we saw him because I wasn't vlogging, but the Sunday of opening weekend, I was with Emily, ready to collect her parcel in front of us in that queue to collect the passes was. Somebody watched the channel and yeah, we've seen them again today. And yeah, it's always nice to see you. Thanks for watching the channel. I know you had a wonderful time. Yeah, you know, well Benjamin reminded me to say it again. If you see us around, come and say hello. We love talking to people who watch the videos. It's always very nice. And um, yeah, like I say, we don't really get that much involved in the community and stuff like that. You know, we're quite introverted to be honest. So yeah, um, you know, come over and yeah, it's great to speak to people who watch the videos. So yeah, come and say hi. I absolutely love the days at your local park where it's not all about rushing from ride to ride to ride. You do rides and then you socialise a bit in between. You know, you recognise people, you meet people, talk to people, socialise with friends. And yeah, I love Wallace and Gromit, favourite dark ride. That's it really. And now we're on Doran, the audio's back on. It wasn't last time, I can't remember if I was vlogging it, but yeah. Love Dora. I'm in with Emily and the other three are in the tub of the road, as you just saw. It was going good on the back carriage earlier. It's time to give it a go on the front row. We got the front row queues, and yeah, like I said, merge points from over there, so much better than just being put on an allocated row from the exit, blocking the exit ramp like you are used to. It was dreadful. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that bad, it was a way of getting on, but... Uh, I didn't yeah. enjoy that, because um, you had to move squashed at sides, yeah. was it? Too thin. Was it for the 2020 season they added the yes. merge point? That it made was a massive improvement. Yeah. Day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I remember that very well. It was we were good. They're excited, as you can tell by the facial expressions. 
<laughs> what was that? Wheels are being checked. Ben and Danielle are currently stuck on the lift hill. I think I will be too while I'm on this train eventually. And yeah, it's all part of the daily safety thing that they do on here. To check the wheels, they're good to go. There they are. Look at them. Did they notice I'm filming them? Probably not. Eh? There they are. Right then, it's been ages since I've been on the big one train whilst they've been doing a wheel check. Yeah, it's been a while since that's happened, like well over a year. And yeah, I was on the front row and uh, we were stuck on the lift hill for quite some time because it looked like they actually replaced a wheel on Ben and Danielle's train. Um, yeah, side stop wheel, side friction wheel. So I would say if it's not in the Kiss Me Quick shop, I'll be disappointed, but I've already got one of them. It's an upstop that I want. And I do believe that they go and like, just man um, refurbish the wheel and change the tires. Um, now on the big one with like obviously Arrow being out of existence and that just so yeah like they can just keep the same wheel and reusing it and that so yeah it probably won't end up in the Kiss Me Quick shop but if you replace an upstop please put it in the shop I've got um I've got the big main running wheel I've got the side friction wheel I want an upstop now but um yeah so that took a little while obviously uh replacing that but that's fine that's fine and then um the ride itself the wind picked up so it did slow down a little bit over them uh, over the hills but so not like to a concern to a concerning extent uh but yeah that's fine did we all enjoy your front row on big one uh. did you enjoy your front row on big one uh. i'm glad we did it i'm glad we did it and they they went and got a slush they took advantage of them replacing a wheel <laughs> went to have a slush love it still some dance with it <laughs> I have another shout out to give as well. In the big one station when we was waiting for that front row ride on the big one. Um, yeah, there was someone in there and they said, I recognise you from somewhere. Like, I've seen you around the park before. Um, so I don't think it was actually recognising me from YouTube. So, you know, that humbled me a bit, but I'm joking. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, she subscribed to the channel afterwards. And yeah, it was nice to see you. I'll look out for you more often now. Um, now we actually met. Good to see you, Matt. Yeah, good to see you. What is that? Good was that taking the mic out of me there? No, oh. no, I was taking the mic out of myself the other week when I was going on about the revolution stuff. Like, good to see you, and Danny Owen. Good to see you for everyone who we've met. That goes for everyone. Eddie Ball has got some donuts. <laughs> And he loves them. Eddie, Eddie's yeah. donuts. What is it like Eddie's the pink donuts. Donuts. Oh, donuts? They look yeah, quite yeah. nice. Well, I don't know if you can see him, but there's someone inside of Valhalla. There we go. Is there? That's exciting. He's tested, oh my god! <laughs> to be fair, we went on Ice Blast just then. That's why we stood here and that. I'm and yeah, it looked, like the, it looked like water had been in the trough quite recently. I'm pretty sure on Wednesday it was completely empty and dry. Um, that's not the case. Um, we did actually think we could hear water, turns out it was the sea. Um, the staff member on Ice Blast was like, obviously making conversation with a guest, very friendly staff member. I can smell water, she says. Like, And then I'm like, oh yeah, we can hear Valhalla. Wait, did she say she could? <laughs> she said she could smell water, not yeah, see Valhalla it. Yeah, because Valhalla does have quite water. Yeah, it didn't smell nice to be perfectly honest back in the day when it was actually open, but yeah. Exciting times, work's taking place in Valhalla. Woo, mini Valhalla update. There you go. Fingers crossed for later this year, but well, it's just becoming more and more certain, isn't it? Smooth wooden roller coasters down. That's unfortunate. Heartbroken. It's only been on two trains out of four today, though, and it's probably the busiest I've seen it all season, so, so I feel like for a late night ride in Jubilee weekend, all that fun stuff, nice weather, every reason. To make it busy, there's electricians over there. It seems that uh, you know, like they'll, they'll be on it, I'm sure. But yeah, it should be on four trains, really. But who knows? We shall see. Hopefully, smooth one and roller coaster opens later on. You know, it's busy when Impossible's got a queue. The hub is open as it always is at late night riding. I might have a little walk around there at some point, but it's busy and yeah, we're not going to do much in there, so it's kind of awkward. But yeah, it's all nicely. We're going to watch an October fest. <laughs> Oh yeah, later in the year. But yeah, it's all beautifully decorated. <laughs> I do. It's all beautifully decorated for the Platinum Jubilee. And yeah, I mentioned this in the oh, <laughs> April Late Night Riding vlog. They put artificial grass down on the hub. 
It's a football pitch. Do you like the game of football? Are you a football fan, Ben? Football fan? I'm <laughs> far from it. The two best wooden roller coasters in the UK are down. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's not good. Okay then, so, just shout out. Uh, we was coming, well, um, we was a we went in the Icon Rapture a little too early uh, for the time on our card. Silly us, always check your time on the card. <laughs> but yeah, as we was coming up these steps here, we heard someone shout, like, I heard video. And then everyone else in my group was telling me that someone shouted over, like, yeah, I watched your video or something like that. And I turned around when I heard that and I didn't see anyone. So, yeah, I kind of feel bad now if, if it was someone shouting at me or then. So, yeah, hello and hopefully we'll see you later on <laughs> um but yeah thanks for watching the videos and yeah i'm sorry i didn't like to see you yeah <laughs> hopefully we'll see you again at some point but uh yeah we're just gonna chill out on the tables because pleasure beach express is out of oil um so yeah that's not open at the moment obviously so yeah um, oh we're testing it the engine no! But yeah, there we go. Hopefully it's just us hearing things. But yeah, if, if someone did actually shout to us, either me or them, yeah, thanks for watching the channel. It would have been great to meet you, but like, I, I didn't see you as I turned around, so yeah, I apologise for that. But, but anyway, yeah, we have about 20 minutes to spare now. But yeah, there we are. We're having a fantastic day. Really enjoying today. Your old Ben is about to put his sun cream on this. <laughs> is it really that funny? <laughs> This normally makes for a funny pen. Oh, man. That's way too much. I I'm getting a new job. I'm getting a new job, I'm going to go and work in Passover. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't need to put any more on. No, I'm trying to rub it in. Oh. <laughs> the entire thing was full, so just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I need to sort myself out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is different. Oh, this is this is hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> did you film anything about it? Or are you gonna have to cut the entire? Oh yeah. I'm because it. if you did, then I can tell them to go and watch your vlog. The camera's here. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you've got to say for yourself. I... What's wrong now? <laughs> I've always wanted to work in passage. <laughs> you can do with rubbing it in a tiny bit more, I reckon. Oh. This was meant to be a two minute job. That <laughs> well, it has been about two minutes. Just over. Oh, taking up all my storage, oh, you. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh. You oh. only had your facts. Number seven to the frame. <laughs> I squeezed it with a certain amount of force to do for Hanson. Jesus. It has been for me to see in person and film. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. I think this needs a separate video. I think it's gonna be that long. Oh my god. I can see it on. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Just, you'll just have to watch it's it. Like it's all over your back. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't like do an Instagram live. I was going to do an Instagram live guys, but the connection won't work here, so I've decided to film in do an Instagram for the vlog instead. <laughs> it was meant to... I'm, I'm, I'm scared to end the clip in case something really funny happens. Oh, like... We're temporarily in 4K mode. Here's Ben, freshly in sun cream. He spilled a bit of it on his mask. You know what? It's very funny. Oh. <laughs> no, not on the floor, on your mask. 
Oh, right. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, let's get back on a ride. Quickly, while we're coming off the big one, this is where the fireworks are taking place tonight. I'll talk more about that when we get off the ramp, so yeah. So as I was saying, at 10 p.m., there is a firework display. Yeah, and it is it. themed, it is themed to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So it's going to be very nice. Oh. You're out there. So I've just been on the back row at Big One alongside Emily, and it took me up until the new track to realise that today Emily rode the Big One for the first time since the retrack. Um, yeah, what do you think? Really good. Really good. <laughs> did you not like that bit of the ride? Uh, did you have a problem with it? Do you think it was rough? No, because back row is always rough, to be fair. Nah. Like, the, no, the further it, you no, go towards the rough. front of the train, it's smoother. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the retracks made track, a difference? still feel the difference. I need to get a drink from that. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Is there any bit that you think needs doing next season? Honestly, I can't think of anything. Me neither. I know. I know. That, I know. We've still got all season. But as I said, in the big one specific video, check it out. I think it's running better than yeah. ever. To be I honest. don't think it needs another retrack this season. I really don't. So yeah, that's my opinion. It's running as good but, as uh, it ever. Yeah, like there might still be a contract that they have with Tazika, where they just do a it's little taser. bit. Is it Tazika? No, it's Tazika. Yeah, it depends what about. YouTuber you are. What is he on about? Uh, <laughs> But yeah, uh, they might have a contract to have a little bit done every year, which would be fair enough, but honestly it's not really needed. Spend the money on a new coaster or something. Exactly. We've just done the front row of Icon. Icon's running really well today. I've done it on the back twice. No, no, no. Twice, second and third. And front. Yes. Always worth giving front a go. If there's not too many people in the front row, even if there is. It goes down so quickly. It's time to say goodbye for now to Emily. You might see me next week. Her fingers crossed, yeah. She's planning something, let's say. She's a secret. <laughs> Keep it a secret. I've not done that on the channel in a while because I haven't been to Fort Park to make the reference <laughs> out of Darren Brown's ghost, outside of Darren Brown's ghost train. But I there we go. Know that was a thing outside Darren Brown. Yeah. You, did you not? No. Like, when you went in ghost train, did you not hear him in the pre-show go, Keep it a secret. No, I think I completely And he put more emphasis on the T. I was more it's interested funny. in that actor screaming in our face. <laughs> it was before that, secret. Oh, well, I anyway, completely off topic. <laughs> Emily's having to go a little bit early, which is fine. We well, sort of like the Danielle and Ben starting at 10 or whatever. Yeah. Danielle and Ben have got an icon and I'm taking Emily off the park. Gonna head and up so I can um, Yeah, have you had a wonderful visit? <laughs> Second no, one at the season. And it's not even dark, so I don't see the fireworks like. Yeah. And it's going to be dark. No, it's not going to so be dark. And then I don't want to be caught in a crowd of people getting well, out. Yeah, fair news. And all the rides close at like nine, half nine yes. anyway. We've got a lovely time then. Yes! Oh, Valhalla looks lovely there at this time of day. Oh my Sun God, shining it right out. on it. Get it open this year. <laughs> Ah, oh, the rumours of next year. That would be a long wait, but is like I said, it's now? not the end of the world. But yeah. Bloody hell, Morgan! Gotta plug it. Check out the playlist of updates. And there we have it. I started today in a group of five, and now I'm on my own. But it's ten past nine. Ben and Danielle are on our call, of course. I'm meeting up with them momentarily, but uh, there we go. It must be on one of the last trains for Icon, really, because yeah. It's 10 past 9 as I just said and all the rides at South Park have a shut now including the big one which is only running that half a train there on one of the trains I assume that's what they tend to do at the start and end of the day but yeah there we go both of which have been running incredibly well today um, but yeah there we go that's the end of South Park for today less than an hour to go until the fireworks I'm very excited it's the two of us now Ben's now left us. Yeah, they're not really fans of fireworks, but yeah, and they also just want to get home. But fair news, oh, keep catching that soon. But yeah, the only downside of today, and we technically could still do it, but we want to see the fireworks at the end of the day. We don't want to miss them, and it'd be a bit risky looking at that queue. We haven't ridden smooth one and roller coasters today. Quite unfortunate. 
um, yeah, like one of my favourite roller coasters that I've been on. So it's always a shame to come and not do it. But yeah, it, it had a bit of downtime earlier and it's been on two out of four trains. So yeah, it's unfortunate. On a late night riding, it's not been as packed as it can be. But yeah, it should still be on all four trains really, I feel. Uh, everything else has been on good capacity. Icon's been on two, not three. But that doesn't make too much of a difference, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't really three matter. Trains, the three trains could be used though. Yeah, that doesn't matter though. But yeah, like Grand National, yeah, like it can take a while to move up in that queue. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Like, you know, we could have done Grand National earlier, but. Uh, we didn't, we've done like other rides multiple times instead, so it's what it is. But there we go, I'm losing my voice, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Um, well, don't know what ride we're going to do now, if any. We've got half an hour until the fireworks to spare, and that queue, it'd be risking it just a little bit. So we've decided not to take the risk, and then next visit, I'm sure we'll give it a couple of goes because we absolutely love the smooth running roller coaster, also known. It's Grand National. All right then, 20 minutes until the fireworks display. We weren't planning on stopping here. You know, we were, we were planning on walking around for, for a bit, to be fair, but it is packed around here. So yeah, we've literally only just got this space. So yeah, this is one of the best places to watch them. It's where we like to watch them. So um, yeah, there we go. Lovely view of the fireworks. Um, yeah, the app is like literally just over there, so yeah, can't believe how busy it is. Like, I know it's uh, been busier today on park than it has been in you know the last late night riding and the November fireworks, the end of the uh, December actually fireworks, but yeah, wow, it's busy. Um, yeah, like we've just had to stay put here pretty much, um, so yeah. Here we go. I just thought I'd mention as well, the theme of the fireworks. They do often do themed firework displays at Pleasure Beach. And this one is of course themed to the Platinum Jubilee. So it's exciting, it's not dark. Um, but yeah, there's more clouds than there were earlier. Does that make it darker and make the fireworks more visible? I don't know, but I'd rather the clouds not be there to be honest. So yeah, go away clouds. And the camera is on the tripod. First time in a long time. I'm gonna lie. Five minutes. Look at that. Hey, there we go. That was a very random start. <laughs> Love it. Just a nice, pleasant surprise. Enjoy. There we go, I'm gonna have to keep this short and I'm gonna keep it sweet. But that's the firework display, I've shown you the highlights in this and then the full video is already on the channel. Um, but yeah, there we go, quick wrap up, Valhalla update, not got time for that. Um, but yes, there we go, the firework display was very nice, very good, um, very royal for the Jubilee. And yeah, the day that came prior, well, well before that, um, I'm just gonna say it. it's been best day I, I've had at a theme park this season so far, hasn't it? It's been very good. We've got on all the rides apart from Grand National. That's the only downfall, as I mentioned. But like I say, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, we've had the company: Ed, Emily, Ben, Danielle. So many laughs. It's been hilarious today. Um, yeah, we've had a funny time, and. 
right. Yeah, there we go. Look at how many funny all these people are walking out. That would be us, but we have decided to end the silly little, but not so little, because it's probably about 40 minutes long video. I don't know, but to, um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this vlog from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's been the, it's the second late night ride in. I believe now that fireworks aren't going to be coming to Pleasure Beach until the 27th of August, I think it is. So there's free late night ridings, there might be four. Um, as I said, they're all on the website. I'll put them on the screen now, actually, and you can tell which ones have the fireworks on if I do get any of my facts wrong from memory. But yeah, there's three or four late night ridings between now and the 27th of August. Um, but they won't have fireworks and the next late night riding which I don't think we'll be able to come to because uh, we're going to be elsewhere, it's, it's our mum's birthday uh, on the Sunday after that so we're, good, we're obviously not going to be in Blackpool for that um, unfortunately but so yeah the 25th of June is the next late night riding with no fireworks and then yeah there's a few after that, uh, some in July then another few in August as well before the one that has fireworks on the 27th. But there's not one every weekend in August. I know, that's a shame, that's a shame. Like, for the past two years now, there's been a late night riding every weekend, in, every Saturday in August, not every weekend. It's probably to catch up with the theme park season, to be honest. But yeah, there we go. It's what it is. Like, it's probably cost them a lot to be open 12 hours every Saturday, who yeah. knows. Um, but yeah, there we go. Like, rambled on a bit there. We've had an amazing day, amazing company, amazing laughs. Thanks to everyone who was involved in that. Thanks to everyone who came up to us, um, people who we've spoke to, people who watch this channel. And yeah, like the person who like I didn't see earlier, but I heard, we all heard you. Um, so thank you very much for that. And hopefully we'll see you again at some point. We're always coming here, aren't we? But yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the screen to see more from a not so dark Blackpool Pleasure Beach at about quarter past ten. See you in the next video, whenever that may be. More light on me. Goodbye.